Welcome back to your hour. Joining me now is Paul Rosales from Remax Realty Professionals. And what are we talking about today, Paul? Get your house ready to sell. Okay. Things you need to do in order, and apologize, I'm going through a sinus infection right now, so my voice probably sounds a little bit different. But um, there's a, some things that you just have to do to get your house ready to sell in case that's, uh, in case you want to get the most amount of money for the property. Clean it up is one. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, there's been some houses I've walked through and I'm like, wow, these really are not ready um, for, um, for the market. Um, first and foremost, when you start thinking about getting ready to sell a house, you want to go ahead and contact your, your realtor, preferably me. I'll come through and I'll give you a third party um, assessment. Yeah, assessment of what's going on in the house. Because you may, you may think the house is okay to live in and that may be true because there's a difference between showing condition and living condition. Because I don't know anybody out there who has their house in perfect showing condition when they don't have it on the market. Well, or, sure. You know, or if they're getting ready to entertain sometimes. You know, that, that's a good uh, uh, analogy. When you're getting ready to entertain, you kind of get your house put together a little bit more. Um, have a realtor come over. We've seen lots of houses. And the other advantage is we've been with clients who have seen lots of houses. And they'll have um, a pretty good idea of, uh, a realtor will have a pretty good idea of what people expect in a house, what they like in a house, what mm -hmm. they find to be attractive, what's not attractive. So it's just not our opinion. It's our experience based on, uh, on you know, the hundreds of clients that we've had that help uh, to buy or sell houses. So I'll go through a house, we'll walk through it. It's one of the first things I do on a listing appointment. And I'll say, well, this needs to be done, that needs to be done. And it may be something that somebody has seen a hundred times. But because it's something that has slowly deteriorated over time, they don't really pay attention to it. Mm -hmm. um, one of the more common ones is when you go to turn off a light switch. You'll turn it off, you'll turn it off, you'll turn it off. Eventually, that, the paint changes color. You get the, the oils and oh, things sure, like that. sure, sure. And that's something that a lot of people just don't really look at. They mm -hmm. don't notice it because it's something that changes real gradually over time. Um, there'll be requirements for appraisals that we'll be aware of. Mm -hmm. So we'll walk around the interior and the exterior of the house and we'll tell you, well, this needs to be done because if you don't do it, it's just going to show up on an appraisal anyway, mm -hmm. <coughs> depending on what kind of appraisal you get. Uh, we'll go through and um, you may think your carpet looks fine, but if it needs to be spruced up or if it needs to be replaced, those are some other things that we can talk about. Mm -hmm. Just about anything that would make a house more attractive. Part of that is what, is what we use our expertise to tell you needs to be changed. Mm -hmm. um, one of the other things that I tell people is you're going to be moving. You know, you're putting the house on the market. We're not putting it on to, uh, to accomplish showings. We're putting it on to ultimately sell it. We've got to get the showings to sell it. Clear the house out. Mm -hmm. If you're not going to use that stuff in the next three months, get rid of it. The things you think you might need, go ahead and put in boxes still, but keep them easily accessible. Get those things out of the way, because when I go through, I take something like 40 or 50 pictures of a home. Mm -hmm. And if I'm going to take a picture of a house, you want to make sure that the people who are looking at those pictures online are going to be able to see the house for what it really is. Mm -hmm. They don't care about your family pictures. Mm -hmm. They don't care about your collectibles. They don't care about your art collection. No, if they have a clear <coughs> canvas, they can picture their own things up there. Exactly. Clear the house out. Get mm -hmm. it out. If you're not going to use it in the next three months, get it into boxes and storage. Um, uh, the pictures that I take, those are also the pictures that I use to create a virtual tour. Mm -hmm. And then those are also the pictures that I use to do a video. Because online, for example, with the MLS, we're allowed to put as many as 22 pictures. And since I'm taking 40 or 50, I need to have a place to put the other pictures. Sure. And so it'll be a combination of virtual tour and actually creating a movie about the house. Because I'll walk through the house and create a video uh, of what it's like to really walk through the house. Because that's what I do. I take the camera and I walk through the house. And so mm -hmm. people have a real good idea of what the layout is of the property. Um, and in order for people to really appreciate what's going on with the property, it needs to be cleared out, needs to be spruced up. Mm -hmm. um, on the outside, you need to be maintaining your lawn as best you can. Sure. You need to be maintaining. If the outside is paints in good condition, but you just need to power wash it, it's like with me, I have the permanent siding. Once a year, I'll go out there and I'll power wash it. Mm -hmm. So you've got to go out there and make sure that the house is as perfect as possible because there's always that uh, saying, you have the opportunity, you have one opportunity to make your first impression. And I can almost guarantee you, that people are not going to do a second showing on your house if it doesn't look right the first time. Mm -hmm. You want to be able to make it look as best possible because you may be competing that day. Uh, they may be sitting with their agent and they may be looking at something like a dozen houses on mm -hmm. a Saturday afternoon. 
you don't want to be anywhere but number one. Yeah, you don't want to be the house they cross <coughs> off the list. Right, <laughs> right. Because you know what they say about number two, it's, your, it's, it's the first person, you know, it's the last person that lost. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to be one of those. You want to be number one. So you got to price your house right. You got to get it in the right condition. Uh, with me, the marketing is going to be there. And then, of course, location. Can't do much about location unless we're moving it. And mm -hmm. I have yet to list a house that's going to be going anywhere. <laughs> so they're not, you know, you don't move houses usually. Uh, so, uh, like I said, a good idea is to call up a realtor, give me a call, we'll go through the house, we'll check it out, and, you know, it, sometimes the things that we can tell you won't be what you want to hear, mm -hmm. but if you want to hire a yes man, then hire a yes man. If you want to hire somebody who's going to tell you the truth of what you need to do to get the house sold so that you do get it sold, so that you achieve the goal of doing it. Well, and you can sell it for what <coughs> you want out of it instead mm -hmm. of what you have to settle for. Exactly. Exactly. Good way to put it. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for joining us yeah. today, and uh, we'll be back in a couple of minutes with some, uh, we'll, we'll hear from Mr. Movie Phone, and then I'll, we'll talk to you about what's going on in Wichita this weekend. So, don't go anywhere.